And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be running through my home beds. Which one is the perfect one? But more importantly, which one's the perfect one for you? I've always said layout is the thing you have to look at the most when it comes to buying a motorhome. Along with that goes with the bed. If you've got the perfect layout, but you've got a really bad bed and you have a really bad night's sleep, you are not going to be happy in the morning and you're not going to be happy on your travels. So you need to, one, find the best layout for your lifestyle, but also, two, you need to find the best bed for you that fits with that lifestyle and that layout. So you can have a great night's sleep whilst you're on the road, whether it be for just a weekend or for a two-month trip. If you can crack them, you've got it sorted and you will enjoy your motorhome and your travels and adventures. This is a lovely example of a French bread. I don't actually know the origins of a French bread. I'm going to assume it was a French manufacturer that started it and decided to chop a bit off and then they called it a French bed. But this is a lovely little example and you can get extenders pieces that go under the bed and give you that piece back now. Um, but then it does cut off some of the walkway. Not a huge amount of storage underneath this. Um, I do quite like these uh, styles and I was looking at one of these for myself, but it just didn't give me the amount of storage I needed underneath the bed. This is a nice example of twin singles. There might be some external uh, storage underneath and here, here and there inside or outside, but it is a good example of, you know, his and hers beds or, you know, one's, one's for the kids, one's for, one's for you. Um, they're a good option to have and it does offer a really good night's sleep. They're made up all the time. Um, there is a privacy blind that goes across, so you still have the rest of the mile home. And it's a good option. This is an over cab bed. This will slide forward, so you've got more headroom here. The benefits of an over cab bed do mean that you're taking your sleeping area out of your living area. So it does give you a lot more space down in the actual motorhome for chilling, lounging, eating, cooking. Obviously there is a ladder to go to, to contend with. So you do have to have a, some level of fitness to be able to get up and down. Um, and there is the in the middle of the night run if you need the toilet. So you've got to come down the ladder, but a very nice option. And I've personally used one for six years. As you can see around me, there is no sign of a bed that is because this motorhome home you have to make up the bed now these will pull out and they'll make a very nice size double me personally i would probably use them as two singles as well sure you have to make up your bed you wouldn't want this as a maybe as a long-term thing if you're going away for three weeks four weeks at a time um, it might be just a, a, a weekend to a week because it could get a bit tiresome uh, making up the bed every night but you have got a beautiful amount of living space during the day to chill out and relax. Right, there is a thing called transverse beds within my home layouts. Now that means you sleep width ways rather than long ways. Uh, it does give you a bit more space in the rest of the motorhome because beds are typically six foot long and four foot wide. Now that means the bed is only taking four foot of width space instead of six foot, which gives you an extra two foot usually within the lounge area or the kitchen. This is not a typical transverse bed because this is an island bed, but yeah, transverse beds, I personally have a transverse bed now and I find them pretty good to sleep on. I have no problems, you know, I sleep like a baby. Now we come to drop down beds. Pretty similar to over cab beds, apart from they drop down, hence the name. So you have to, on this, this model, you have to lower your seats. They could be in various areas. There could be some over the lounge area. This one is over the cab seats. Um, but, and some are electric and some are manual, but you just simply pull them down or press the button. And then you've got a full size double bed pulled down. There is a little bit of clambering up. There, I mean, there, there will be a ladder here, um, but you have got, I'm, I'm, probably wouldn't recommend it but there is a sofa there the bed's down within seconds you can be in and sleeping in no time at all it is a great option to have a fixed bed out of the way um, to have maximum lounge space and living space but again it does come with the added um, caveats of someone is on the other side and has to clamber over and it does again taper off a little bit towards the edge this is your typical island bed. Now these are great if you both want access either side of your bed. Um, you both get, you, you know, if you've got, you, you and your partner can get, one can get out uh, freely of the other one, unlike the overcab beds and the, the um, transverse beds. One thing you have to remember with these, and it's usually with all models, is 
they they do push back and the, the bed will go up a little bit and they're usually in that position when they're on show so when you see them on a the forecourt or at the shows they will have quite a lot of room around here to be to give you the full you know feel of the motorhome make sure you pull them out and get the bed to lie flat or ask the you know the sales guy or whoever's on hand to get the bed to lay fully flat so then you can see how much room you have walking around the motorhome and either side of the bed before you uh, make your decision i've already shown you two singles which were quite low down these are quite high up as you can see i've gone up three steps here and i'm perched at the top the benefit of these is for two reasons it can be made up into a massive bed so this has an infill here so it'll be made up to a, a probably bigger than a double um just under a king i suppose um and the other benefit of having these these this style of beds is underneath these is a huge garage so if storage is what you're looking for then uh and the option to have either singles and double uh, all at the same time then this will be the layout for you this is the example of what i was talking about of you've got the two singles but then you've got the filling to make it a huge huge bed i mean that's that is a double bed i mean probably a little bit bigger than a double bed so this would just pop out um along with the other the other two at the front and then this just slowly slides up revealing the steps to what would be to your singles you can pop them two out or you could keep them there and still have two singles it's entirely up to you it's quite a flexible layout to be fair i don't know about you guys but i think i need to lay down after all them there's so many different beds who knew who knew well i did because i go to all these shows and i see all these different beds but you need to see these beds and you need to come and experience them. So if you are looking for a secondhand motorhome, then come on down to a place like Oak Tree and have a look at these beds because just seeing them on a screen like this, it doesn't give you the full feel factor. So head on down to somewhere like Oak Tree today and get in there and have a look at all the beds and the layouts.